Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So today we are going to talk about R-Sync. R-Sync is actually a utility that allows you to backup your files across multiple computers or multiple servers. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first thing you need in order to work with R-Sync is to download it. So first of all, you need to download Sigwin. So you go to Google and you type Sigwin and you get a page like this. So the first link, you click on Sigwin installation. Actually, Sigwin will allow you to work or uh, execute the AirSync command. So I'm going to install the setup here. So I download it. After the download is finished, I execute the setup. As you can see here, I run it. So this is the setup wizard for Segwin. So I just hit next. Then I choose install from the internet. Then next. Then I choose the root directory I leave as default next next and next here i choose the mirror from where i'm gonna uh, download the install files it will take some time in order to download the installation files now you get this list of packages that you want to install so I want just to work with rsync so I will type in the search box rsync as you can see here I have three categories I go to the net category it will show you skip I'm gonna click on it so it will show the version of the package I want to install as you can see here is description of the package rsync which is a fast remote file transfer program then I hit next. Then the packages are getting installed. It will take of course some time. After that I can choose to install also the icon on the desktop or start money. Then I hit finish. Now, as you can see here on my desktop, I get this icon which called Sigwin Terminal. I click on it and actually what I get is a command prompt for Windows. Of course, if I, I right click on the bar here, I go to options, I can customize the colors and the font, also the text, for example, I can change here the text. Okay, so actually the Sigwin environment allows me just to execute the AirSync command. So I will demonstrate that, let's say for example that uh, in my C drive, as you can see here, I have a folder called Cacti and I have an empty drive or an F partitions and I want to backup all the files in this folder into this partitions so with rsync i can do that so it's very easy i will go to my environment i will type rsync then i have to make the options for it so i will dash type uh, dash then a which means to archive all files then v which means verbose mode then H, which means to display the information in human readable format. Then space, then I have to type also slash, then segwin, drive, then slash, then here I can make the partition number or the drive letter. So for example, I want to back up files on C drive, to, so I will just type C, then slash, then as you can see here, the name of my folder, which is Cacti. 
and the destination of the backup. So space then. Always in Windows we have to precede the path with slash Segwin drive. Segwin drive then slash then as I, I told you the drive letter so here I'm back up into uh, partitions name or letter F so I'll just type F okay and that's it then I can hit enter as you can see all the files now are being archived or transferred to my F drive and if I go to my F drive here as you can see here the folder is being transferred to this partition as you can see here at the end we have a summary of the operation so it's a very useful utility if you want to back up your files or synchronize your files. So that was just an introduction to rsync command, how to use it. In the next videos, I will show you in-depth uh, view of these commands. As always, I hope it has been informative for you. And I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.